a missing toddler, a mother whose story doesn't add up, and a massive search spanning three states. Authorities scour a campground and search a murky pond, but still no sign of Evelyn Boswell. A jailhouse phone call with the grandmother's boyfriend, a bail bondsman's long history with the family, a friend who says the mother knows exactly where her child is. We're piecing together a case that's mystified authorities desperately searching for Evelyn. And yet another day of searching ends and a 15 month old Tennessee toddler is still missing, still considered to be in danger with family members in jail. Thanks for joining us for WVLT News at 11. I'm Ted Hall. And I'm Amanda Hara. Thanks for joining us. We're glad you're here. A pond took center stage in that search for the missing Tennessee toddler. Today, authorities say they found no sign of Evelyn Boswell, but we have learned that that body of water has a family connection to the multi-state Amber Alert and that the little girl's grandmother may have been there in recent days. Meanwhile, the missing girl's mother's in jail, charged with making false reports as authorities grow frustrated with her ever-changing story. The toddler's grandmother, also in custody, accused of stealing a car. One of the mother's early claims was that her daughter was taken to a campground in Mendota, Virginia. She said she could be found in a silver camper. WVLT News went to Mendota today. Didn't even find a campground. In fact, our crew was told by locals there isn't a campground in that small town. Now we're learning some of the adults in little Evelyn's life have a history of run-ins with the law. Some of those past charges include assault and leaving a child unattended. A WVLT exclusive tonight, Gwendolyn Ducree live. She's joining us in Sullivan County with more on a bondsman's history with this Boswell family. What did you learn today, Gwen? Hey guys, well, if you know anything about this case, you learn a lot as each day goes on. And one thing that we learned out here in speaking with the bondsman is that this family, or at least the adults around Evelyn, um, have all had some run-ins with the law and they are familiar with what a courtroom looks like and they're familiar with it, with what it looks like to ask for help with a bondsman. I went down to uh, that bondsman today and I spoke with, um, Alan, I spoke with Alan Hood and he has been working in this business for 26 years and he tells me that this family has history with aggravated assault. Um, that's two men in Evelyn's life. That was the boyfriend, the grandmother's boyfriend and the grandmother's ex-husband. That's Evelyn's mother's father. Um, we also know that um, the grandmother has some charges that relates to children. One being um, not having a child restraint in a car and also um, leaving a child unattended at the time. Now it's unclear who that child was. One interesting thing though, guys, we did learn from the Bells Monument is that whenever he would call um, and speaking with Evelyn's grandmother, she said that she had two children. One included Evelyn. Uh, we're not sure why she said what she said, but this is coming from the bondsman. Um, and he said that he was familiar with this family. So it wasn't a shock to him to hear um, a case like this surrounding the family tonight. Gwendolyn, while you were there talking with a bail bondsman, something interesting happened. He got a phone call. The phone call happened to be coming from jail. On the other end of the line, William McLeod, the missing toddler's grandmother's boyfriend. You had an opportunity to hand the phone over and talk to him from jail. He told you he's provided DNA. He's willing to do a lie detector test. He wants to clear this up. And you asked him when the last time was that he'd seen the little girl. What did he tell you? That was my very first question, Amanda, and he said that he's only seen the child twice in his entire life. One instance he can really remember is at the beginning of he and the grandmother's relationship. He says that was back in July. That was the first time he had met the little girl and the little girl stayed with them at a motel for two nights. And he said that that was the last time that he had seen the little girl. He even claims that was the last time the grandmother saw the little girl when she stayed the night with them again in a motel. Um, in this area and he says since then um, he claims the grandmother reached out to Megan asking can I see my granddaughter and in his words he says that Megan could never produce the child so that was the last time that he claims he and the grandmother saw um, 15 month old Evelyn he says that they've been trying to see her ever since but couldn't couldn't get that uh, made that arrangement made.
All right, Gwendolyn Decree live in Sullivan County. Thank you very much. Again, the grandmother and her boyfriend charged with possibly being in a stolen car. Nothing to do with young Evelyn at this point. Evelyn's mother charged with telling false stories to police, not with her disappearance. We want to make sure that's clear at this point. A friend of the missing toddler's mother tells us she thinks Megan Boswell knows exactly where her child is. Yeah, Christian Arnett says Boswell always came across as a good mother, often serving as really the primary caretaker of her younger siblings. Arnett says she's been talking with Boswell ever since Evelyn disappeared back in December, but she's starting to doubt her stories. Here are some of those stories. I've told TBI where to find her in Mendota. My mom took her to a campground and a silver camper, and if they don't go tonight, I'm going to go find her myself. I was trying to protect my mom, maybe in hopes, oh, well, she'd just tell them where Evelyn was. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, why didn't you point it missing earlier? Because my mom threatened me, and I just want her back. That's all I can think about is how much I just want her back. I do think she knows. I, I think she knows where Evelyn is. I think she knows who has her. That is Christian Arnett, the mother's friend on the phone with us today, saying she believes Megan Boswell knows exactly where her child is. In text messages between the two friends, Christian says Megan Boswell expressed fear about the person who has Evelyn. Now, the Sullivan County Sheriff held a news conference while many of you at work today. He said the mother's lies are causing precious time that could have been spent tracking down real leads, but he still has hope. Hope and pray, uh, my staff hopes and pray, and everybody working on this case hope and pray she's alive, and we're going to continue to work just like she is alive. Here's another look at Evelyn, 15 months old. Investigators say if you know anything, call 1 800 TBI Find. Don't mess around with social media. It's not going to help, at least as far as law enforcement goes. They're not checking social media. If you know where she is, call TBI directly.